Hey everybody, this is Chief Francis, Big Boy Screen and today is another Motivational Monday Bayani Talk. So today I want to talk to you guys about dark times. So recently, I've been struggling. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've been struggling. And there's days where it's just better, and then there's days that are, that are not so great. And there's days where I just want to just throw up my hands and give up. And the most, I guess the most difficult thing about that is, you're, you, the, the, the sense of feeling alone, right? And when you, when you feel alone, you feel like, like, the, like you're screaming at the top of your lungs, but nobody can hear you. It's like you're screaming and, and there's even like, there's even days where I feel like I'm screaming and not only could nobody hear me, but I feel like I'm underwater. Now, I want you, I want to just let people know that, that I do see a therapist every week. I, I do get a lot of help. I have a very strong family that, that supports me and very strong uh, friends and support network. But I think part of my personal checkup is to, is to acknowledge these dark moments and these dark times. And, and like how I feel like even though I'm in a room full of people, nobody can hear me and nobody can see me. Now, I know this is going to sound very, very arrogant and very condescending, but I never had a problem making new friends. I never had a problem being in a room full of people, it's even if they're, if I don't know anybody in that room. I'm just one of those people that can just, just be comfortable in any setting. But it doesn't mean that I, you know, that I, that I'm, uh, that I'm already, like that's, the, that's my natural habitat, because it's not. I, I am actually, what I call myself, is I'm an introvert trapped in an extrovert's body. People always assume that I'm, I'm outgoing and I'm, 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 I'm an extrovert, but really I'm an introvert. And you know, I was, the definition of an introvert is not shy. The definition of an introvert is a person who just gains more energy from being alone instead of being in a crowd. Now, I learned how to be an extrovert. I learned how to, to draw energy from, from the people around me. Just, that's, just taking the time to, to do that for my, you know, just all the things that I had to go through from theater to family obligations uh, to learning how to become a minister. Um, those are the things that, are the, that's a skill that I had to learn. But my natural uh, form, <laughs> I guess, is, is an introvert. But the one thing I will say that no matter how dark times get, how, how, you know, how, how, no matter how grim it looks, all we need is that little bit of hope, a little bit of spark, a little bit of just a flicker of a light. Because the truth of the matter is, Darkness is not, is not the opposite of light. It's not, it's not like an, it's equal kind of thing, right? Darkness runs away from the light, but the light never runs away from the darkness. No matter how small the light is, in the darkest of darkest rooms, in the darkest of darkest space, that light will stand out. And the darkness runs away from it. I say that because no matter how dark things get, and because I have a therapist and I have my friends and I have my family and I have the Almighty, there's always a flicker of hope. There's always a flicker of, of that it's not always going to be this dark. And for me, for me, I think that I have, I, I, you know, that we, we must always remember that this darkness doesn't last. And that this darkness is not the equal to the light. So you got to cling on to that light. You got you to gotta really just reach out. If, if in those dark moments, you reach out. And, and find that's, that flicker of hope that will get you through this darkness. I share this 
because I am blessed. That no matter how dark things get, I have God, I have my family, I have my friends, including my students, my teachers, my, my, my kuyas, my ates. They have always, always pulled me from that darkness. So you know who you are. You know how important you are to me because I've made sure you, you knew, you know how important you are, how important you are to me. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for always being that flicker of light, that flicker of hope in my darkest moments. Now, if you feel like the darkness is overwhelming you, please call this number. It's a suicide prevention hotline. And if, you, in, if this can help you, if this video can help you, then I'm glad, but reach out and find that flicker of hope. My name is Chief Francis, Big Boy Streamer Door. Peace out, God bless you, and keep swinging them sticks.